Hello, welcome back to Erica's Welsh Garden. Today is Wednesday uh, the 12th of June and I've spent about an hour down at the allotments this morning just working on my first plot which is plot 22 and weeding the area that my garlic was growing in that I harvested the other day and also kind of pulling out some of those really sporadic onions that I had growing all over the place over autumn because I lost quite a few. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to give you a June tour of my first plot. Just a quick one before I get started on the tour for June. Um, I harvested my garlic the other day. I was so pleased with it. I really was. Um, a few of you that grow an elephant garlic were also talking about that and talking about when you're going to be harvesting it. I wasn't really too sure when I would harvest it because I did put it in after the um, garlic that I harvested already. But Steve over at um, Digwell Green Fingers, if you're not familiar with this channel, I will put a link to it below. It's really, really good. Um, he was talking about harvesting his and he just mentioned, you know, um, having to dig around one of the um, bulbs and seeing how it was doing. I did that this morning and I was pretty happy with what I found. So I'm going to be harvesting those possibly tonight or over the next couple of days so stay tuned for that because I don't think you are going to be um, disappointed when I harvest that. So here you go here's plot 22 in June. Um, this is a small plot it's smaller than probably half a plot actually compared to quite a lot of you um, but this is what I have going on. So um, in this bed here was where I had the um, garlic that I harvested and also um, some of the onions they're just down here and they started to bolt so I have dug most of those up today and given this a really good dig over I still have a few onions in the ground um, these ones haven't bolted so I thought I'd just leave them a little bit longer just to maybe put on a bit of weight because I've got enough onions here for a couple of days so I thought there's no point kind of getting these out of the ground um, in the pots here was a small pumpkin that I put in but unfortunately all of this rain has meant that the slugs have pretty much just eaten everything there was another pumpkin in around here that's not there anymore at all so just moving along here this still needs to be kind of dug over um, but it is an empty bed I've got a lupin that I grew from seed last year and it has actually got a um it has got a flower stalk growing on it so I'll be really interested to see what colour that is um, and just along here I've got a mound of um, horse manure that I just need to dig in to the bed over there um, here we have the supermarket garlic that I was talking about in my last video I'm going to be harvesting that shortly and I'll do a separate video about that because um, quite a few people do want to grow supermarket um, garlic and I think it'd be really interesting to see the results but I just want to do that on a separate video so you can just see it quite quickly um, I've got some more um, onions in here and they're actually pretty big in this bed it's hard to, for me to kind of uh, show you how big that is but this is like maybe a tennis ball size but this is the largest one that I've got um, but the ones here seem to have done a lot better than the ones all the way over there um, this was where I had some of my Casablanca garlic that I harvested and dug over the this is so weedy it's quite embarrassing really these are the Germador Germor sorry Germ Germor shallots that Liz gave me from by the farm um they're starting to um flower so i do need to get them out really and use that space to be able to put pumpkins in or whatever um and then we move on down to um this uh this pumpkin here and this is phil and we have another um pumpkin which is also phil in there but i've not planted it in the ground um i just left it there in case this one was to get eaten but that seems to have actually survived all of this rain this is where i had my ger uh, my germador um garlic in so that's already been dug over now so that i can put some pumpkins or something like that in this is kind of my flower flower beddy bit um, I do have 
some lovely white fox gloves but as you can see they're kind of just flopping all over the place and this one here on the floor actually just snapped off because it was so big and it had it did have a cane and everything holding it up but it just couldn't take it um i've got a lovely plant here no idea what this is called so if you can tell me that would be great um and i have another one of those here um i picked those up from a plant sale at my gardening club last year so possibly this one here is going to come home into one of my beds at home then we have um some elephant garlic and this is oh my god absolutely you know when i harvest this you're going to be so excited again loads of weeds going on here um i have a lupin here this was also grown from seed and that was grown from seed i'm really sorry by the way about the shaky camera work um this was grown from seed but it's white i was hoping it would be like red or blue or something like that so i'm hoping when that other one flowers it's not going to be white as well um but this has another um flower spike just at the back that is about to open but this has been open for about nearly two weeks now so it's starting to look a bit sad um so then i've got more elephant garlic down here i have some this is my timpani garlic it's just really not doing well whatsoever um but i've got some here and some here but yeah nothing's really happening with that at the moment then i have some more of the supermarket um garlic down here and a couple of onions um but not much is going on with that um then if i take you round kind of the back here these are all of my picasso potatoes that i've got in pots now picasso are a main crop so really they should be kind of in the ground because they're going to grow bigger potatoes but i ran out of space ran out of time so they're all in here they all need earthing up actually luckily all this rain that we've had has meant i haven't really had to worry too much about these um they've been doing pretty well just now look at all those weeds um now this is the last trench that i dug and i've got picassos growing in this trench here um just along here is a trench i don't know if you can see it but i've got an issue i was talking about doing a french drain here um you can see one potato is there uh no potatoes apart from weeds but i don't know if you can see i'll probably show you better if you come over here but we're on a hill here and um can you see that i need I, basically the potatoes are going to be rotting away in there because it's just soaking wet so that's probably why um the potatoes haven't done too well here but i've got potato there and there and one a little bit further up but yeah it's really weedy i just need to earth everything up and squash those weeds um and then i made a quick wigwam here because i had some um i had some beans at home that i needed to do something with um but as you can see they've just really not done well here whatsoever because just the slugs basically and then i put some pumpkins in there's one there and there is one here as you can see the slugs the rain everything and just not having warm temperatures it's 10 degrees today you know it's just not very good weather okay so here you have the onion bed totally needs weeding um and the onions are kind of doing okay actually so that's the onions but yeah they are really really um weedy at the moment but you can see they seem to be putting on a nice amount of weight but nothing like um the overwintered ones and i've just noticed it looks like i've got two red ones here and a red one here and here that are going to seed do i need to would you say they're going to seed now so i pull them today or do i leave them a little a few more days i don't know anyway um yeah that's what they look like sorry if i'm spinning the camera around too fast i'm really not very good at um 
doing tours and filming and talking at the same time. Um, I have a pumpkin here. This is either BS5 or the flat one. Um, the flat one that I don't know what it's called. Um, but I didn't actually make a note of that. So there's a pumpkin there. That's alive though. In this row I have Charlotte's. Charlotte potatoes. But these ones in the middle don't seem to be doing well whatsoever but we've got um one flowering there then we have a row of these are rocket i think so we've got some rocket potatoes um here and they're doing pretty well and i have a another pumpkin here now the pumpkin hopefully is going to be trailing this way up here um, but I have noticed today that this rocket potato has flowered and I did a little dig in the ground and there is a lovely big fat potato in there. So what I'm going to do is, as this pumpkin starts growing, I'm going to be harvesting from here and kind of going up so that by the time, you know, they're wanting to take over, the uh, potatoes will be out of the ground. But I'm not going to harvest any potatoes today because I have potatoes at home. Um, and yeah, there is another pumpkin there. Um, so pretty much that is what is going on on the allotment at the moment. Down the end here though is totally going to be unusable. So I need to either make raised beds, sort the French drain out. Oh, also I have some potatoes here, which actually did go in earlier. So maybe I will just harvest those um, first. But yeah, that is what is going on on my plot at the moment. Now the other plot is not doing too well, but I'm going to have to work on that a tiny bit before I show you what's going on over there. So there you go, that is my June tour. To be honest, I feel like I'm doing a February tour. It's 10 degrees, it's really cold, the lighting is rubbish. I can't believe I harvested my garlic like two days ago and it was sunny and beautiful and even that was sunny in the morning and rained all afternoon so the only good thing I find about this kind of weather is the weeds are really easy to pull out um, but saying that I haven't pulled all of these out so um, anyway I'm gonna head off home now I am going to make an omelette with those onions that I've pulled and I'm going to go and show Lloyd the elephant garlic that I've pulled because I've never seen a garlic so big in my entire life. Um, stay tuned for my um, elephant garlic um, harvesting video because it's going to be amazing. Um, anyway, I'm chatting for ages. So once again, if this is the first time you're watching me and you have enjoyed and not got too upset with my shaky camera work then please hit that subscribe button ring that bell so you can be notified of all of my latest videos and help my channel grow it doesn't cost anything to subscribe so please do and thanks very much for watching take care bye